Hi everybody, welcome to this episode of Sharon's Home and Garden. Today I wanted to plant up some herb buckets. So this Saturday is going to be a baby shower that I'm holding for my daughter-in-law who's about to have a baby. I'm about to be a grandma. And um, instead of buying some useless gift to give to these women, I wanted to buy something really, or I wanted to make something really special, and that is an herb bowl. So that's what we're going to be making today. So join us today as we put together a few herb bowls. I think as gardeners, we forget how easy growing things comes to us. Um, I know a lot of people are always amazed at the fact that we can grow all these wonderful things. And even though we have our ups and downs in gardening, you know, we're controlled by the weather, we're controlled by seed quality, um, or our success is controlled by those things. Um, we kind of forget that most people don't really, you know, they can't just put seeds in the ground and come up with these beautiful plants. So I'm reminded of that all the time, especially at church, because I get asked so often um, how my garden is doing, and they just shake their head in amazement, <laughs> especially those who are friends with me on Facebook. So, um, so let's put these herb bowls together. What I have here is a pot. It's a hanging basket, plastic hanging basket. And it's got one of those plastic liners in the bottom of it. Should probably take the price off. I don't know if it'll come off. It did, what do you know? And I put some straw in the bottom of it. And that's just to give it a little bit of drainage in the bottom of the pot and it's so I don't have quite as much soil and there'll still be plenty of soil in there for the herbs but um, it just gives it a little bit of drainage then I'm gonna take my soil and this is a mixture of uh, we get free compost from our city that is a rock and I went and got a load of compost and then potting soil so that's what this is half compost you can see a lot of sticks in here half potting soil And then I have some flat leaf parsley, some cilantro, some thyme. Oh, look at this one. This has oregano and thyme in it. And then my basil died in the last cold snap we had. And so I had, I'm gonna go, I went and bought some sweet basil. So that's what I'm going to give them. And all I have to do is, so we'll put the tallest things in the middle. That's going to be the basil. These need water. And the middle. They'll perk up once I water them. Cilantro. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it smells like cilantro. So I have a popsicle stick next to the cilantro since it looks just like the flat leaf parsley. And then this is flat leaf parsley. There we go. So as these grow, they will really fill out that basket. So there you go. That's a quick, simple way for you to make a gift for someone um, who doesn't necessarily have a green thumb like you do. Now I'll give this a good watering these do come with hangers, like this. These pots were, oh, they were six bucks, and the herbs were all pennies. So, There you go. Beautiful gift. There you go, everybody. Three beautiful baskets that will just get better as they grow. And I hope whoever gets these baskets enjoys them. Once again, thanks for watching this episode of Sharon's Home and Garden. If you like what you saw here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And always remember, be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. Happy gardening, everybody.